I will just put the All right, wonderful. All right, so Hare Krishna kids. Today is a special day because you know um Palvit is gonna present today and the topic is Damodar Leela. So I think I'll let Palvit uh take over from here. Krishna Palvit, you ready? Yes, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Good luck, Palvit. Go ahead. Let's start with the invitation prayers. Oma Gyan Viranasya Gyanan Jarasya Yakya Kaksuru Emilita Nakashi Kuru Nama Omitu Badaya Krishna Pashtaya Bhutale Shimakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Itin Namine Namaste Swansati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nidhi Vishisha Chanyavadi Pashtaya Shatarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Dweta Gadadara Shivasati Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Hare Modali One day, once upon a time, the two of them were named in Nalkubera and Manigiri Bar. The Kubera's son was fourteen in Mandagani River. Um, They were playing with the girls and drinking liquor. By the time, married Muni passed by him. He was came coming. Um, the girls were were were, 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 were hiding themselves and ran up his head to um married Muni, but married Lalkubera and Muni Griva were not so. Narada Muni calls them to be Ajumatri. Now, then they will be released free from the curse. Then they will be released from the curse. By Krishna. By Krishna. Yeah. After 3600 years. 1000. 1000 years. Marish Shoda was making butter um, um, and churning the milk. By the time Krishna came and and, and climbed on her lap from mid. Then Madhishwara gave her the milk and then Madhishwara remembered the the milk on the stove. Then then Madhishwara it was over boiling and then Madhishwara um left. Krishna. Then, then she went to the, and she ran to the kitchen to off the stove. By the time Krishna was breaking the pots, butter, butter pots, and and he was eating all the butter. By the time when his mouth was getting filled, he was feeding the 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 butter to the monkeys. Then, then he was hiding. And then Madhishwara was looking for him. Then, uh, he, then, then he broke the she book. Saw. Then she saw the broken pots. Then, she, but she did not saw Krishna. Then, then, then she picked up the stick. And then, then she was finding Krishna. Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? Then. Finally, she saw Krishna. Finally, she saw Krishna. Mm -hmm. Then, 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 Krishna, then, Madhya came with a second, starting chasing Krishna. And Krishna was trying to run as fast as he could. Then, Madhya Shura got Krishna. Then, then she thought the um, punish him. Um, then she tied um Krishna with a rope. Um, um, it is two inches small again and again, again two inches short. 
then she tied him with the grinding water. Tying the rope again, it is two inches short. Again, again, and again, and again, it was two inches short. Um, she was very tired and sweaty. Finally, to tie him with, she was able to tie him with um, Krishna well. Then she left to finish her housework. Krishna then, then Krishna was dragging the motor, the grinding motor. Um, then he then then he went between the two Arjuna tree. He pulled as hard as he could. He pulled as hard as he could. Then then he then he broke the Arjuna tree. Then Nalkuvera and Mani Griva came out. Um, and then a big sound came from the tree. Boom! Crash! The, dam, the beautiful demigods, named in Nalkuvera Mani Griva, came out turning by the fire. Then they prayed officiates to Krishna and they prayed. Um, to ask to the, go back to the house and perform me and perform me for the devotional service. Devotional service. And to him. And to him. Mount. Then, then they blow down. They blow down again and left. And then People from whenever a very loud sound came running and Ananda Maharaj said, untied Krishna and then Krishna went home. Hmm. Um, take always. One take more. always. Take always. 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 One mother should have tied Krishna with a rope with two inches short, which means our first, first our desire, our desire to surrender, to surrender unto Krishna, to, to, to um, Krishna's mercy to accept us. The mother meaning dam means rope, and other means tummy signs. Mother should have have tied Krishna on the tummy with a rope. That's why it's called the mother lily. We should offer ghee lamps with the mother ashram every day in Kathiti. Ishvara Parama Sri Brahma Shamita. Ishvara Parama Krishna Shat. Ananda Vigraha, Anadi Radir Govinda, Sarvakarana Karanam. Krishna, who is known as Govinda, is the Supreme Godhead. He has an eternal Brisbane, which is body. He is the origin of all. There is no other religion. He is the prime part of all gods. Tinta Mani Pakara Satma Sukalpa Vaksha. Laksha Vitesa Surabi Yabi Pala Yantam Lakshmi Sastra Tata Sam Brahma Sevimanam Govinda Madi Pursham Tamam Bajami I worship Govinda, the primaval Lord, the first originator, standing the cow, yelling all his day in a boat, built with great gems, surrounded by millions of proper sheep. All is served with great respect and the passing by and the young thousand that we all go. Venum Gwananta Maravin Nagalaya Taksam Varha Vatasa Majitam with the Sundarangam Pandar Pakoti Kamaniya Vishesha Shovam Govin the Madi Pusham the Bahamajami. I worship Govinda, the primal Lord, who is adept 
und Lennon nicht gut und Blooming als ein glottes Wetter. Und ich hätte das in der Peacock-Spelle mit der Finger Beauty, den für die Hero Blue Cross, die Lied Loveliness Charming und in der Kuppel. Hallo, Legende, das ist mein Malle, warum sie Ratna Gadampana, ihr Kelly, Kelaya, Villa, Sam, Ramon, die Wunge, Lalita, Mia, der Prakasham, Govin, der Mali, Wusham, der Mahamba, Jami, I was in Govin, der Prima Villa, round his neck, is singing a garland of flowers, beautified with the moon, locket his two hands up. Around a dawn, a dawn with the flute and then ornament who always heavily in passion of love, whose graceful, beautiful, and the purple samsundra is his belly manifest. And the nearest is a clean revity monkey, but shanty punty, calliant, jitter, jiganty, and a nutting money, red jewel of grass. Go in the mighty person, the bambita, the army. I was a good in that the primal love, whose church and princess from is the most blistered, full of blistered substantially, and is thus the full of more dazzling splendor each of the limbs of the church and princess, like a possessor in himself, the full fed function. Of all the organ and eternally see when the eternal manifest the infinite universe is both spiritual and mundane. Advaitam Akshita Manade Mananta Rupam Adyam Burana Pursham Navayovanam Sha Vire Rudolava Madhavan Atma Bhaktu Govin Namadi Pursham Namajami. I was a woman that the prima of Lord who is inflexible to invade her with the optimal, obtainable by pure and alloyed devotion of the soul who is without the second, who is not subject to decay, is without the beginning, whose form is endless, who is the beaming and the eternal person, yet he is the person possessing the beauty of blooming God. Pantos to Koti Satavatara Sampragam Yo Vayora Tapi Manasomun Pungavanam So Pies Yet Papa Dustin Yavijet Vatadve Go in the Mahadi Pusham The Mahamba Jami I watch a cooking that a Pumavala Only the chef of the two lotus feet the Lord who is approached. is approached by the yogis who aspire after the transcendental and breaking bite themselves through pranayam by gaining respiration or gyani who try to find out the non different brahman by the over louder the process the process of elimination of the mundane extending over thousands of years Hari Bol, dann wird man auch. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Bahubet. That was such a beautiful presentation. And I um definitely liked um your bhava during the whole presentation, right? And pretty much this is the perfect time to talk about the Dhamma Leela, right? Because it's Kartik month going on. So you picked the right uh, topic. You presented that so very well. Um, I also liked uh, how you included the shlokas, all different kind of shlokas that are associated with this um, in the end. And also those crisp, points which highlights the an, entire story so really it was a complete package uh, amazing beautiful very beautiful i loved your presentation and thank you good job very well done all right who else wants to share uh, their thoughts about pelvis presentation today it's an open forum let's go ahead
Mataji Gaurangi raised her hand. Yeah, I was just about to say, Ma Gaurangi, go ahead. I like your presentation, Albert, and li I like how you said the Sherlockas, and I like the story, and and I and I like your and I like your Tilak. Thank you, Gaurangi. All right, Shubhra and Giridari. Thank you, Gaurangi. Hare Krishna Palvit, I really liked your presentation. It was so beautiful because you talked about the um, Damodar Lila. And I like this, um, the Brahma Samhita. Thank you, Subhadra Devi and Giridari. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Shubhadra. Uh, Devash, do you want to go next? Yeah. His presentation is very nice. Thank you, Devash. Thank you, Devash. I like the um, story. Janvi, do you want to go next? Or Anjana Gopi Hamadaji? Hare Krishna, Palvi. It's a beautiful presentation. It's very nice. You all kids are very inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice presentation. Thank you, Mataji. Um, I, well, I, I can't read the name. It's all characters. So I do not know who it is. He's Liban, Liban, Mataji. Liban is always experimenting with his Liban. Liban, you always have to test us or what? Never mind. Let's go with you now. Do you, would you like to share something about the presentation? Yes. Thank you, Palita. Like, like your um, presentation. I like your slokas. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We heard Palvit saying thank you. Thank you, Palvit. And thank you, Levan. Uh, Vinita Mataji, do you want to go now? Palvit, I like you. That was a story. Grabber Sabeta Slokas. And also, I like to catch this. Thank you, Balavinda Didi. Thank you. Uh, Palvit, very, very beautiful presentation as usual. Like last time, when you say the sloka, you are made. Your focus also is there on the translation that I really like because you know last a lot of kids know sloka even Randa recites a lot of slokas but then I never concentrate for her and the translations but whenever you come you feel like oh I should teach Randa translation too thank you for inspiring everyone it's your story the slokas translation was everything perfect and your PPT is too good thank you so much thank you Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. Anybody else wants to share? Um... Mataji, even my brother's name is Damodar. Wow, that is perfect. That's a beautiful name, right? Yes. And my my presentation is coming on before eight more days are finished. Oh my God. On 20. We can wait, Gaurangi. We can wait. Uh, it's amazing, right? These kids' yes. presentation series are my most favorite series when we get to just hear and you get to talk and we can hear all sorts of beautiful slow, shloka stories from you. So it's an amazing experience for us. So we can't wait to hear you all, actually. All right. And Palvit, yeah. So Palvit, once again, thank you. Everybody is, uh, you know, appreciating so much. And one thing I think I forgot to mention, you did talk about the shlokas, but the command you had over the shlokas, you were amazing. You were to the point, beautiful, the way you were reciting the shlokas. You were very good. Thank so, you. so proud of you. All right. Anybody else wants to share anything before we move on? If not, then once again, thank you, Palvit. We look forward to hear you, hearing you again, okay? That was a beautiful presentation. All right. With that, uh, I am going to share my screen now.
All right, there we go. So anyways, as I said, today is a special day. We heard such a beautiful presentation. We had a beautiful presentation from um, Pulvit, and now's the time to do a moral story as well. Oh gosh, such an interesting day. So <clears throat> let's do the story. Today's story is about the sadhu and the ram. The ram, right? Weird way of saying it, but it's a story. And you know what happens at the end of the moral story? You all remember that, right? We do it often. So we're going to share realizations. So pay attention to the story. All right, so let's start a story. So, all right. So once upon a time in a village, there was a great excitement happening. Everybody was, uh, was talking about it. Everybody was having fun. Everybody was making noise. But what was going on in the village at that time? People had gathered to watch Ram fight. Who was Ram in the story? If Ram was fighting, do you see in the picture who was Ram? Just the, purple, the purple, the purple shirt person. Yeah, exactly. It's just the coat. All right. No big deal. So they're fighting, um, you know, these kind of fights. And, um, you know, in um, those... Um, rural kind of atmosphere uh unlike you know people in urban uh or or, uh, or big cities they don't watch tv or they don't have phones for their entertainment or they don't do any other kind of activities for that right of course they can do a lot of devotional activities but besides that just for a little bit of entertainment what they do these kind of things they do right they meet they talk and they get into these kind of uh, you know um, goat fights or bull fights and things like that so all those things happen. So this is going on. Everybody's super excited about this. And at the same time, a sadhu was passing by. When the sadhu was passing by and he heard so much noise going on. So he asked one of the villager what is going on, right? And the villager told him that Ram is fighting. So it looks like Ram to be a very popular uh, animal there. So everybody's excited about him. And then somehow Sadhu wanted to see who is Ram and why Ram is fighting. So he made his way uh, to the front uh, of the fighting area. And when he gets there, what does he see? He sees Ram almost, uh, you know, staring at him and kind of bowing down, bowing down. So he is um, thinking that, um, all right. So if he's bowing, maybe he's bowing in front of me, right? He wants to give me respect or maybe he wants to uh, take blessings from me or something uh, something on that sort. That's what he's thinking um, in his mind. But, and, and then he started speaking then. After thinking all that, that uh, he just wants to, you know, maybe uh, be respectful to him. He said, oh, you are the only noble soul in this whole crowd who can identify a great soul. So do you see how proud he is? He's thinking that he's such a great soul and the only um, only uh, living being who is able to identify that is you. Others in the village, I'm meeting them and nobody's paying attention, right? He's thinking in his mind. So you are the only one. So he's kind of boosting himself in front of all the villagers. So first thing is that he's proud and second thing is so that he can get... Um, respect from other from the villagers as well but one of the villagers tell, tells him that you have to be careful he is actually not trying to pay respect to you basically he is attracted towards your bright clothes so you know even the bullfights and all that's what happens right uh, we, we always hear that I do not know how true it is but we always hear that if you are using a red color a cloth the bull is bull gets attracted towards it and that's how they get into the fighting right so you would have heard about bullfights so I think pretty much similar thing that he's talking about that he this um, Ram is actually attracted towards your bright clothes and now he's trying to attack you so you should step back be careful about this but but the sadhu is not just not ready to listen to anybody because he's not believing. And just, why? Because he's so proud, right? He's just, he can't even think straight. He's so proud, he thinks, no, no, no. He's just, uh, you know, trying to respect me, nothing else. Um, he's telling the villagers that, <clears throat> that you are wrong. This poor animal just wants me to bless him. That's all he wants, nothing else. Um, <clears throat> a moment let, later, 
excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> a moment later, suddenly Ram hits the sadhu. Oh, it's such a such a such a fun, funny picture, right? So he hits he hits sadhu, and the sadhu falls down and he's screaming and shouting, "Oh, please help me!" Right now he needs somebody's help because he's almost going to fall flat on the floor. So that's exactly what happens. So he fell down and finally he realized his mistake and he's saying that I have invited this agony on myself. I was foolish and now I have paid the price just because I was so proud. I was such a fool that I did not understand this, uh, you know, um, this havoc coming towards me or coming on me, coming upon me. Um, now I have to pay a price uh, because of the mistake I made. So yeah, I'm going to quickly read. Uh, this is where we end the story. The moral says that one should not think too great of himself, even though he may be spiritually advanced. So whatever you are, you could be within some capacity. You could be extremely rich. You could be extremely elevated. You could be um, spiritually at a, at a level um, which others are not, but you should not be proud of that. That's what the story talks about. So this is all. I am quickly, quickly, go, quickly going to open up the forum for everybody to share your thoughts. What did you learn? Any realization that you want to share from today's story? Any takeaways? Um, anything, anything, anything that you want to talk about from today's story. So who wants to go first? Mataji? Yeah. So, well, you should, uh, so we shouldn't be uh, selfish. Well, not selfish, but foolish. Right. Yeah, and I think we can interchangeably use both the terms, right? He was fool because he was selfish too, right? He was selfish. He was so self-centered that he just couldn't think, think straight. So yeah, it is the right way to put it. Thank you for sharing that. Um, Balavrinda, want to go now? So uh, we should not be proud and we should not be foolish and we should not say that I'm great and we should be humble and not a piece of this shame. I don't a piece of this shame. About it, about a day. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Balavanda. I rightly pointed out. Thank you. Anybody else wants to go? Anybody? Come on, kids. Share your thoughts. No, never mind. All right. So thank you, anybody, everybody who shared your thoughts. Thank you, everyone, for this. But yeah, pretty much the, um, the bottom line is you should not be proud of yourself. That's it. Whatever you have, whatever you have achieved in life is by the mercy of Lord. So really, you should not be proud of anything. All right. With that, we come to this beautiful, beautiful Damodar Ashtakam. We have been reading from past so many, uh, so many weeks ever since Damodar Amant started. So I'm going to um, let Anjana Gopika Mataji help us learn these couple of shlokas from Damodar Ashtakam today. Hare Krishna Mataji, over to you. Hari Bol Mataji. Okay. Hari Krishna This is my little bit. Hari Krishna Prabhita for beautiful, beautiful presentation. Thank you so much. It's all very, very inspiring. Okay. And you all can repeat that for me, okay? Idam te mukham bojam. Idam te mukham bojam. Dante <laughs> Moho zombi tambimba. Moho zombi tambimba. Raksa dharamme. Raksa dharamme. Manasya virasam. Manasya virasam. Malam lakshana vai. 
नमो देवदामोदारणंतविष्णो नमो प्रभो दुख जलाग्न प्रभु दुख जलाष्टि स्टार्ट Yeah, minute. I'm just pulling it. No problem. Yeah. Everybody can go to the breakout room to learn the Vinayaksi with Mataji. Yeah. 